Well, hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel where it's the second signing of the day. No rest for the wicked for Hull City. Yes, as in true Hull City fashion, we have no um, official announcements of any signings for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then on deadline day, or on deadline week, sorry, we get them all rolling out one after the other after the other. Yes, another loan signing for Hull City. Noah Ohio joins us on loan from the Belgian Pro League at Standard Liège. Probably butchered the pronunciation of that team name but yes a, the Netherlands under 21 striker joins Hull City on a loan for the rest of the season fantastic deal for the Tigers it seems to be another case of, of a Liam Delap appointment where yes it's a it's a young striker with a lot of uh, potential a lot of um, outgoing progress in the youth set up at Man City uh, at Man United for in the case of Ohio Um and a, a fantastic striker at the crux of it just hasn't been able to do it in sort of that senior development stage. Um, signed in July 2022, I believe, for uh, Standard Liège. Has contributed with 45 assists, six goals during that time for a striker. You may be looking at that being a bit on the poor side, which it is. Uh, but then you've got to forget Liam Delap last season, two loan spells, two different championship clubs, and only managed to grab himself three goals in all competitions. So it's a fantastic appointment, this, if it does work off. Um, especially considering the fact that our striker situation at the moment isn't the best due to injury. Delap most likely is out for the rest of the season, which probably because contributed contributed into the factor of this loan appointment um, and then we'll reassess ourselves in the summer. So yes, I have had to pop out to my car to grab this video out today because um, it's all going Hull City in Hull City land. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think about this uh, appointment. I think it is an interesting one considering the state that we're in at the moment and maybe we were looking for a bit more of a proven striker coming into the end of the season. But then understanding that we have Billy Sharp and Aaron Connolly, certainly they will be um, in, in the fit running within the next couple of weeks in Connolly's case. Um, you maybe are looking at uh, a striker a bit like this, a little bit like the Liam Delap type where if you give him a few games out, he can turn into quite a force in the case of Liam Delap. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll re really wait and see on this one. Um, I doubt that he'll make an appearance against um, Millwall. Um, or certainly off the bench. Don't think he'll start. I think we'll we'll remain with a, a similar setup to the one that we had against Sunderland. Um, but we'll we'll wait and see on that front. I mean, if Rosinia does have faith in the in the young lad and if he's been proving it at training, um, I can't see why why we go against Rosinia's word. What Rosinia's seen, because um, obviously there is something for him to be brought to us in this sort of promotion push, the playoff push that we are undergoing at the moment. So um, we'll really wait and see on that front what happens coming in to the final half of the season but it's another signing for Hull City another deal done on deadline week and possibly two more to be done before the deadline on Thursday so make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of the Hull City news as we could be in the Premier League next time we have a transfer window. Who knows? And also follow me over on Twitter to get live up to date on everything Hull City. I'll see you over there up the Tigers.